Several years after the death of Marvel Comics creator Stan Lee, a local comic book artist hopes to capture his complicated legacy in a new graphic biography. The author of I Am Stan, Tom Scholey, is here to talk about his honest portrayal of the icon. Thank you so much for coming in. It's great to be here, Heather. And you said two of these books just came out last week. Just last week, and then one of them just came out today. So. Wow, so you've been busy. Very busy. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about why you chose Stan Lee. I mean, what inspired you? Obviously, you love comics, right? For sure, and he really is probably like the, the biggest name, the most famous person to sort of come out of the comics field, strictly the comics field. And that was largely by design. It wasn't an accident. He really um, courted the attention and, and had this vision of himself as sort of a spokesperson for the Marvel comics that he worked on, but then also for the larger world of comics itself. Yeah, and so you, we mentioned that these are graphics, so there's yeah. a lot of illustration in them. Mm -hmm. Did you do all of this yourself? Did all of it. I, I drew the pictures, wrote the words, colored it, uh, you know, uh, lettered it, you know, did the letters by hand. And so we also mentioned that there's kind of this complicated life and even controversial legacy. Can you talk a little bit about exploring that in your books? Yeah, I'd say there's probably two components uh, of controversy to stand. The more recent controversy is just sort of the conditions of his last days, that he was, uh, you know, just sort of celebrated, famous, successful. And then the last days, you know, we started seeing these kind of strange videos and things where, it, you know, it was kind of a question of, is somebody looking out for Stan? And then the other uh, controversial aspect of his legacy is that um, for a large part of his life, he um, would, would take sole credit for these creations and not really share the credit with the other people like Jack Kirby and like Steve Ditko, who were you know, as, as much uh, a, a part of that creation and that success as he was. And so um, when we dive in, can I pick one of these up? Go Do you for mind? it, yeah. I washed my hands after the dumplings, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you dive into this, how do you write this in, in such a way? Because this is, this is a book. I mean, you're telling a story in here, much like you would a comic, but this is someone's life. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's a lot to kind of condense somebody's right. life into one book, especially somebody like Stan, who lived into his 90s and was very active from an early, early age, uh, the youngest editor in comics, uh, to you know having these, these cameos and these other businesses that he worked on uh, you know, in his in his 80s and 90s. How did and you did this in three different books? So tell us about all three of these. Here. Okay, so um, this one uh, on the far right is uh, Jack Kirby: The Epic Life of the King of Comics. That was a book I did a few years ago and is now in soft cover. Just came out last week, and that's um, Jack. Uh, that's Stan Lee's most famous collaborator. Uh, the two of them together created the Fantastic Four. X-Men, the Avengers, you know, so many of the famous ones. And so I started with an exploration of his life. And in a lot of ways, his story was uh, untold. And then from there, a Stan Lee book was the natural next step. And that came out, and then you have two different, so there's a hard copy in. Yeah, there's a hard cover and a soft cover. And then uh, this uh, comic book just came out today. It's Jack Kirby's Star Warriors, starring Adam Starr in the Solar Legion. And I took one of Jack Kirby's very first comics that he made, um, back when he was 22 years old, before he ever worked with Stan Lee, before he ever worked with Joe Simon, and I kind of remastered it, brought it into the modern age, and to sort of you know present it for a new audience. So, in doing some of this, how do you do your research? I mean, were you in touch with some of the big wigs and and the people who are behind a lot of this? Well, I mean, I've met Stan. I got I got to have a little bit of time with him. Wow. And he's as uh, effervescent and delightful as you would expect. He's really a very he's a people person, mm -hmm. very on. Uh, he always like aims to please. He, he kind of puts on a little bit of a show, and it, it was a real delight getting to meet him. It makes so much sense when you think about it to write a book in a way that he told stories. Yeah, I tried to embody him in the book, which is why the title is I Am Stan. I wanted, when you pick up that book, to feel like you are spending time with Stan Lee. It's, it's less a book about him as a, an embodiment of him in comic book form. The comic books, it is, uh, a, I mean, I think that people just dive into that world. So what has the response been from people who love comics as much as you do? Yeah, it's it's very new. It's It's been really good. The the Jack Kirby book got a big response. Um, a lot of people were wondering, oh, a, a guy who did a Jack Kirby book, what's his Stan Lee book going to be like? But yeah, the, the reception's been really great. It's wonderful. And thank you for bringing all three copies here. I mean, it's, tr it's really cool. You have to flip through the pages. You can purchase these too. I am Stan on Amazon and, and at Barnes & Noble as well as well as the local shop, White Whale Bookstore. And thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Have it's been a pleasure to talk with you. Still to come on Talk Pittsburgh.